a bush bushwalk is made up of three tracks so these are the three tracks from a to b b to c and c to a so this is the bush this is a to b b to c and c to a a b track a b that means this is track a b is 800 meters long so i'll write 800 meters here on a bearing of 140 degrees from a now let me talk about bearing for those who don't know bearing so bearing is an angle that you measure so let me write in short bearing whenever you have the word bearing in degrees that means it is from always from the north this is a convention this is always from north always measure from the north and clockwise and clockwise so these are the two things that you need to understand about bearings and one more thing it's always written in three numbers that's again it's always written in three digits so these are the two conventions or three conventions you always measure from the north clockwise and three digits so let's understand it's a bearing of 140 from a so this track a b is at a bearing of 140 from a means in short they are seeing this angle this angle is 140 degree that's the simple meaning okay track bc this is track bc is 1200 meters this is 1200 meters on a bearing of 50 from b so again from b this is a north and you're going clockwise so let me use a green color for the bearing so this is 0 50 so this is the bearing of track bc from b going from north clockwise okay the first question is explain why angle abc and this is angle a you're talking about this whole angle why is this angle the question is why is this angle 90 degree angle abc so we already know this angle is if this angle is 50 we have to show that this angle is 40 that's what they're asking us to prove or show or explain how this angle is 40 degree let me mark this like this so this angle we want to prove is 40 degree so i want you to stop this video if you could and uh, find it yourself okay you have to use uh, similar triangles sorry uh, parallel lines and angles in a parallel line hopefully you have worked this out so these two are parallel lines this is north from a and this is north from b so what i've done is extended this line and these two lines are parallel so i hope you can see that these two lines are parallel and if these two lines are parallel what is this this is a transversal so let me talk about it if you have got two lines parallel and you've got a transversal i hope you know the interior angle these two angles if this is x this angle would be 180 minus x they are co-interior angles okay so the reason is so let me write the reason geometric reason is co-interior angles parallel lines is equal to 180 this is the reason so these two angles are co-interior angles so this angle if this is x this or say let me uh, if this is x this is 180 minus x that means if say this is how much looks to be say 100 say 70 degree so if this is 70 degree this would be 110 degrees i hope you understand so this angle we already know is 140 degree this angle is 140 degree because that's given so this angle has to be 40 degree so i'll say angle so let's write the reason angle a b n i'll say call this angle a b n is 40 degree the reason being the reason being this because they are co-interior angles when parallel lines are supplementary or equal to 180 okay and you can say angle abc 
angle A, B, C is equal to angle A, B, N, A, B, N plus angle N, B, C, angle N, B, C, so which is 40 plus, 40 plus 50, which is 90 degree. Okay, so next question, I want you to read and try to do this. I'll stop the video for a while. So calculate the length of AC. So you want to find this length from A to C. So I'll do some cleaning up and come back. Hopefully you have done this question, uh, which says calculate. So let me delete. So this is from A to B. So this is your A. This is A. This is B. And this is C. So we understood how this angle is a right angle. Okay, so this angle is a right angle. So can we now figure out what is AC? So if you know AB, if you know BC, you can find AC using Pythagoras. So using Pythagoras, using Pythagoras, what can we say? We can say AC squared is AB squared plus BC squared. That is Pythagoras theorem that the longest side squared is equal to the square of or sum of square of the shorter side. So which is 800 squared plus 1200 squared. So this is 64 and then you have to put four zeros. So this is 640,000 and this is square 144 and then you have to put four zeros. So this is, uh, this is how, sorry, I didn't put the commas right. Let me use a small eraser. So this is three zeros. And so I want to do without the calculator. So let me use the calculator now because I want to find the square root. So this is how you do 800 squared, which is 640,000, okay, plus so let me do the whole thing, 800 squared plus one, 1,200 squared, which gives you 202, 208 and four zeros. Okay, so, so this is AC squared is 208 and four zeros. So let's write this, so this is 2 million 80,000. Okay, and then this implies AC is square root of this number, square root of the answer. So let me use the calculator. So you can also do like this, shift square root, shift answer. Okay, which is, I'll write this as 1,442, rounding it to the whole number. So AC is 1,442. This is 1,442 in the whole number. Okay, now the next question is, I'll again stop the video. Find the bearing of the track AC from C. So, the question is, you want to find this angle. You want to find the, so let me bring this question up so that you can see the question. So the question is here. So question C is, find the bearing of AC, track AC from C. So this is track AC, and you want to find this angle. Again, the question is the same. Uh, bearing is the same concept. From the north, you're going clockwise. So this angle is what they're asking you to find. Okay, so I want you to think of finding this angle. So... What would you do to find this angle? So I hope uh, you have figured how to find the bearing from, uh, how to find this angle. Okay. So what uh, we're going to do is, suppose, let me draw it again. So uh, let's read the question again. It's always good to read uh, the same question again to understand. So the bearing of AB from A is 140. And the bearing of, so this is C, 
the bearing of BC from B is 50 degrees. So this is given. So this is 140 degree from A and 50 degree from B. Okay. Now the question is, what is the bearing? This is what we are trying to find. Find the bearing of track AC from C. That means we want to find this angle. This is the angle we are looking for. Okay, now to find that angle, what I'm going to do, I want to find this angle. I'll tell you why. Okay, so can we find this angle? So let's call that theta. Now in triangle ABC, so let me write it here. In triangle ABC, we are talking about triangle ABC. In triangle ABC, can I say tan theta? Tan theta is opposite over adjacent. So the opposite is this. This is 1200 divided by 1200 divided by 800. That is tan theta because TOA is opposite. This is your opposite and this is the adjacent. So to find theta from th tan, you have to take the tan inverse of both sides. So theta is tan inverse of 1200 divided by 800. 1200 divided by 800. So let's find that angle. So this is my calculator. Always check your sitting. It should be in degrees first. It should be in degrees. And then you go shift 10 bracket 1200 divided by 800. Close the bracket. And that is 56.3. So I'm writing only 56 degrees to write, get a whole number. So this is 56 degrees. So this angle is 56 degrees. So if this angle is 56 how much would this angle be? From year to year, you've got 56, and we know from year to year is 140. So, well, that would be 140 minus 56, which is 84 degrees. So this angle is 84 degrees. Now, if you consider, so let me extend this, or this, sorry, this are parallel lines. And this is a transversal. So if you consider parallel lines and a transversal, we have done this in the same video. So let me delete the rest. So I would not want this. Let's only look at what is important. So what is that we have got here? So we have got this angle is 84 degrees. Okay. So how much would this angle be? This angle are co-interior angles on the same or co-interior angles. So this would be 180 minus this angle would be 180 minus 84. Okay, so let's again use a calculator. 180 minus 84. Co-interior angles on parallel lines are supplementary or they add up to 180 degree. So if this is 84, this would be 96. This angle is 96. So if this angle is 96, how can you find this angle? Okay, they are angles at a point. Suppose if this is the point, the angle at a point adds to 360. So if this is 84, this is 96 because they add to 180. And this is angles at a the point, then you go 360 minus 96 will give you this angle, which is the bearing of track AC from C. So again, let me go 360, take away 96, which is 264. So the bearing of track uh, AC from C is 264 degrees.